I'm here in my dad's farm truck and uh, he's got a mask. He's been wearing, going places where he needs a mask. Main thing to do is when you take your mask off, always put it back in the, the sanitizer here. That way it's good and sanitized. much needed and greatly deserved. We were starting to get dry around here. Uh, gotta thank the good Lord for that. About this time every year we get dry. This is the first of August. And uh, that affects the yield. It ha has been affecting the yield of our soybeans, especially the later ones. Uh, I'm thankful for what we got today. Hopefully we're gonna get some more. But uh, I had some uh, fungicide left to spray today. I wasn't really gonna do a video on that. Um, we'll try to do something different all the time, not the same thing every day. So if you got, a, got something you wanna see, I've got some uh, stuff planned this month couple of things but if there's something you want to see put it down in the comments we'll see what we can do so it's august the first saturday afternoon or later saturday afternoon it's after supper the rain finally broke we still got a overcast but we're gonna get out and uh look at some crops talk about them a little bit Okay, I'm gonna walk in this cornfield. Usually a good rule of thumb is you don't wanna go uh, on the outside rows. You wanna go in a couple of rows to get, get what's been heated up. These uh, cornfields in the summertime usually have a pretty good heat to them. And uh, that's what affects the corn. So this is the ear I just pulled. You can tell that's going to be some pretty good corn in this field. I think all the corn is going to be pretty good. So we're going to ride and look at another field and uh, get on to some soybeans. All right, yeah, I'm out of out of shape, out of breath, but I thought we'd just break up the monotony. All right, we got some pretty grassy meadows. Meadows. Uh, don't know what's going on there, but usually we do pretty good. This was the co first cornfield we planted this year, and uh, I'm not going to pull off an ear, but. They are looking good. I think it's going to be a good year if we just get the price up there. All 
All right, when we just pulled up out here at this field, there was probably about 10 deer out in this area grazing the beans. So I see something I need to look at. Um, I'm gonna spray these again here Monday, but these beans look a lot better than they looked uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I, I, I tilled this ground this year because I had some ruts in it and worked it up smooth. And uh, when they was ready to spray, the ground was wet. I didn't want to put no more ruts in it that I was going to have to work out again. But right over here is a problem. I'm getting there. Problem we're having to contend with us farmers. It's just a little section right here that I see. Uh, may have not been spraying good or something, but uh, these weeds right here, yeah, I wasn't spraying good because I've got morning glory still. That weed right there is what we call a pigweed. And you do not want to get them started because they're hard to kill. I mean, you can see they're, there's about a quarter of an acre here with them. Uh, we did have a, uh, a chemical formulation called dicamba. Well, if people use dicamba right, it's good. But people wasn't using the right tips. Spraying on windy conditions. Uh, yeah, that top's been, been eat out. That's deer, deer doing that. And uh, deer eats up a lot of our crops. And it's getting worse. Uh, I wished. Well, let me switch back over. Well, I'm pretty proud of this little area back here. Uh, first time in about three years I've been able to have a crop on it. All except for the sprayer tracks right there where I run over it. It would always drown out, be too wet. Well, this. I caught it this spring pretty dry. I come in here with a cutting disc, broke the hard pan, uh, run a field cultivator over it, smoothed it up, and except for the sprayer tracks, it's a pretty good stand. And now it's raining. shout out to my helpers here they've helped me with the camera that's my twins they're 10 years old Russell and Delilah so we're going to conclude this video on as far as the tour there's still a little bit more I'm gonna put in with it but uh, thanks for watching Anyways, we got rained out. Uh, I'll finish up the farm tour later. Uh, I hope you enjoy the the drive. 
may have cut some of it out, may be too long, but I thought it'd be neat to do a little time lapse of uh, the beautiful countryside here in Tennessee. So I'm gonna give a shout out today to my boy JC, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. For God so loved the world, he gave his only forgotten son. Whoso believe, whoever believeth him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And I'm also going to recommend a book, The Holy Bible. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, thumbs up. Thank you.